So welcome to this week's haul. It's a good one. I went up to visit my daughter and I hit a flea market. I went down to downtown Arlington where there's tons of antique stores and I just have all the goods for you. So I'm up at Mount Rainier right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm joining a group of people for a three mile hike. That's as much as I wanna do. And I don't like going uphill either, but it is gorgeous and I'm enjoying the day. I have been working out more than I have in a long time. Still huffing and puffing though. So I just had to take a shower because I just got back from hiking. <laughs> oh my God, what an adventure. I was with two other ladies and we totally took a wrong turn and we added three extra miles to the um, hike, which wouldn't have been so bad, except it was all downhill down to this gorgeous lake. And because we had to turn around because we were going the wrong way, we had to hike uphill it was so steep. I had to stop like 10 times to catch my breath. My muscles were so fatigued and look at my feet. They're a disaster. I have the worst blisters. I don't even want to show them to you because it's so bad. And a blister on this side. Oh my gosh. Ah. I'm gonna have to put some of these on. These are moleskins. That one's not even big enough for Summer is absolutely my favorite time of year for so many reasons. I walk most days and I love to see all the plants flowering. I love to hear the birds chirping. Of course, it's the best time to go as a vintage reseller to go to garage sales. And I always feel like people are so ready to socialize during the summer and there's so much more to do. So even though summer will officially be coming to an end soon, I am really crossing my fingers that we get some really sunny days all the way through October. I have a package. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm so excited. We actually have beautiful falls here in um, the Northwest. And oftentimes September will be way warmer, way sunnier than it is like even in July. So I'm gonna enjoy my new chair so much. I'm very excited. So I want to thank the sponsor of this week's video, which is Lou Bona Furniture. They kindly sent me this beautiful Andirondack chair in Aruba Blue. This is the Miranda. They have 
a lot of different styles of indoor and outdoor furniture. I love mine. It is actually made of poly material that's strong and durable, which means it's, it's not going to chip, peel, or rot, which is really a problem in the Northwest. It was also super easy to put together and it's foldable, which is great because I have a small space. And right now you can actually save on your order by using the coupon code that's in the description below. Lubona Furniture offers free shipping and a 30 day return policy, which is great. What a beautiful presentation this booth had. She had just a bunch of really cute vintage kitchen items and I totally fell in love with those wreaths. The wreaths were actually not old, but all the ornaments on it were. Although I bought this for resale, I wound up using it in my room makeover and I really love it. really debated on this box because it was so unusual but in the end I wound up leaving it behind. I've always 
loved this little town of Arlington. It is really like a throwback from an older time. So Arlington to me has always been the quintessential American Main Street downtown. And um, I absolutely love this small town feel. Uh, and it really hasn't changed much. There are some newer shops and a few newer restaurants, but ultimately it retains a lot of its original charm. I mean, I've lived in Washington State since I was a teenager, and this town really has not changed much, which I'm glad about. So in case you don't know me, my name is Abigail. I own a vintage and antique store in Poulsbo, Washington. I have an antique booth in Seattle, Washington. I sell on almost all the major platforms. And I'm also really, really active on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you definitely should. I post content every single day. And I also have a coupon code for my YouTube subscribers and my Instagram followers. It is love it, buy it, and it saves you 15% on your all your Etsy and your eBay orders um, online. So none of these are really in order, but let's get started on this little box right here. I think I got this one at the flea market. I think I actually bought several items from this particular particular gentleman and I thought the prices were really good and he had some really interesting things but look how beautiful this like three level miniature jewelry box is and look at the interior it is so beautiful it actually still has its tag and it doesn't say where it's made, but I absolutely think it's just the perfect little vanity piece. I paid $4 for this. I also, I think it was from this same man, but I also got this really cool little African stand. I want to say that um, wherever these came from, I want to say they're used as pillows. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Maybe that's Japan where they use these little stands as pillows. They don't look very comfortable for that, but it makes a great riser. I can't remember what I paid for it. All I know is that I actually went back because he had a long riser. I could not find him the second day. So maybe he sold out of everything that he had, but I think this is so cool. It's very boho, very eclectic. When I was on my way up to see my daughter, I stopped by a neighborhood garage sale here in my hometown. And I, you know, most of the houses really didn't have anything interesting, but one lady had a whole garage full of absolutely beautiful items. So let me show you what I picked up there. I picked up this gorgeous little cloisonne box. Um, it has the blue interior. It's so pretty, such a beautiful little trinket box. And I paid $5 for this one. And then look at how gorgeous this is. I cannot believe she only wanted $2 for this absolutely gorgeous Victorian style hanging wall art. It is so 
absolutely um, stunning. And honestly, my booth in Seattle is looking very light right now. I have not taken a ton of stuff up there. I only paid $2 for her, but I you know, I think the value on this is probably more like $70. The velvet is definitely old. This is super heavy. Um, I cannot give you an age on it, but I'm going to say it's probably maybe from the 20s, the 30s. Um, it's much nicer than any of the other brass pieces of art that I usually pick up that are typically made in Italy for the tourist trade. I got this cute little toy. I couldn't resist. It's just a little penguin with a little penguin baby. And it's supposed to like walk. It's got a little wheel. And I only paid a dollar for that. I also got this little piece. This was also a dollar and it's basically like a little sleeping ram or a little ram that's laying down. It really reminds me of, um, oh my God, that escapes me. It's, um, it's a, it's art from uh, Japan where they do these little carved figurines. If I can remember the name, I'll pop it in. Gosh, um, and I have a couple and I've sold them. It is. And then I got this absolutely gorgeous box. It reminds me of, of tramp art. Um, which, but tramp art is uh, made with a lot of little pieces of wood. It was basically, it was called tramp art because like um, people that rode the railways used to um, make that type of um, wood um, decor objects as a hobby in their spare time. So anyways, I love this box. It is so pretty. I only paid $3 for it. I also picked up two of these at that neighborhood sale on my way to see my daughter. It's this beautiful apothecary uh, jug. And oh my gosh, look how uneven that bottom was. For a minute, I was really doubting the age on these, but look how uneven that is. And that tells me that this is truly an old piece. And I could see that the glass, I don't know if you can tell, but the glass is very, very wavy. I got this one for $6 and a slightly smaller one for $4. And I love these lids with this like, and that could be prop you know, it could be sterling silver. It's hard for me to tell. But anyways, these are so beautiful. Also at the flea market, I think this was the first thing I bought, is this beautiful tray. It is so fun and so funky. It's this mosaic. It's got this monkey in a tropical forest. I just thought it was really cool. For sure, this one is being listed online. I paid $8 for it, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to list it for, but I'll pop it up above. Also at the flea market, I picked up this gorgeous Florentine tray. It is so pretty. It's thick and it's chunky, and it's definitely one of the vintage pieces. So in case you didn't know, they're the 1-800-GOT-JUNK people. If you have one of those near you, a lot of times what they do is they will actually hold back items from the landfill that they feel have value. And I've actually been to a couple of their offices in this area and I've bought things from them at really, really good prices. So there's one by my daughter's place and they had a garage sale sign out. So I stopped in, I got a pile of stuff and they charged me $25. So if you're looking for a place to source, think about um, figuring out where their offices are and just give them a call. So let me show you what I got there. I got this super neat, it's got a lucite base. 
and it is in great condition with this globe on it. I have no idea how old this is. I just thought it was such a sculptural piece. So even though it's got the earth on it, there are no maps, no names, no writing. It is basically like a topographical map. Anyways, I just could not leave this one behind. Art. I got this one. All these pieces have really a beautiful European look to them. I got this one as well. Very pretty. These would be amazing in a gallery wall. I got this one. I got this one. And I got this one. And then one of them is hanging, uh, or actually it's on my dresser in my um, bedroom that I just did the makeover on. So if you haven't caught that video, um, you should definitely check it out. That was so much fun. My trip to downtown Arlington was also really good. I found a bunch of salt and pepper shakers. These are probably from the 40s, but they're these cute little cats. They are just absolutely adorable. And then these little cats, are those not cute? And then I also got this which is a little elephant on this little stand. I'm gonna say this is a newer piece. The other ones are probably from the 40s and the 50s. And I don't know where the other one is, but I, and I think this is probably a newer one as well, but it's still probably made in Japan, but this seahorse. And honestly, we do really well with um, salt and pepper shakers. We have a little uh, display case and that's where they go. And so the older ones will probably price at like $28 and then the, um, like the little seahorses, these will probably be like $18. And then uh, right next door to where I got those, I picked up this tray and I kind of looked and looked at it and I didn't know if I wanted, I wanted it. I couldn't tell and I still can't tell if it's old or not, but it definitely has a mid-century modern feel and it looks very atomic to me. But honestly, the reason why I bought it was I absolutely loved the green color. It's such an unusual shade. It's, to me, I feel like it's challenging sometimes to find like pops of color in decor items. So there was this um, antique store that um, the lady that was working there, she actually recognized me. She's watched my videos. So I didn't get her name, so I feel really bad. But I totally want to go back there because there was some really great pricing in that store. So I got this little vase, this little slung vase, that probably made in the 60s or the 70s. I think I paid like four dollars for this and then on my way my way back to my daughter's there was this garage sale and it was um, a garage sale that was put on by somebody who used to be a teacher she had so many fun items not items I typically pick up but I could not resist this so I did pick this up and I can't even remember where it's got it's a brass uh, kind of container with these lines on it. But this is what I got from her. It's all these fun buttons. She was a librarian. And so she had all these really fun reading buttons that are vintage, like read it all the way. Uh, Marilyn reading team. Look at this one, so cute. A whole bag of these USA ones. Oh my gosh, these are just so nostalgic. So anyways, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with these. 
I honestly do not know. If you happen to buy something from me and you want one of these buttons, just let me know and I'll include it in your order because there are so many of them. I mean, I could probably take them to the store um, and just, you know, make a little sign for them and sell them for like $3 a piece. But I just thought they were just so nostalgic, so much fun. And yes, I would love to gift you one. If you happen to buy something from me, just let me know. And I'm going to say this was the find of the week. It is, and I bought it from the librarian, but it is this incredible, incredible dress. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. So this is in mint, mint condition, and it is from I Magnum. Uh, it is just screaming Barbie vibes to me. I mean, it is so gorgeous. It does have a little belt, and I'm not even sure where the belt is. I need to find it. So I found this at the flea market. It is beautiful. It's this perfume atomizer it still has the original vintage iris tag on the bottom probably from the 60s i'm gonna say maybe the 70s so last but not least is this resin epoxy agate table that i paid 30 dollars for it does have a crack on the top but these are highly valuable so this one i'll be listing online for 275 dollars So thanks for joining me for this week's video. I had such a great time and I always love taking you guys along. If you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.